Hi, boys and girls, Mrs. Gorski back. And today what we're going to be doing, we are going to be reading a story today called Penguin Place Value, a math adventure by Kathleen L. Stone. So let's see, what exactly are these penguins doing with place value? All right, well, let's check it out. Way down south in the snow and ice lived a family of penguins who were really quite nice. Let's see, how many penguins are in our family here? One, two, three, four, five. They worked hard all day, catching fish by the shore, placing them on trays to take back to their store. So it seems here that they own a fish shop. So they're probably selling to their penguin friends. The trays were quite handy. They really were fine. Problem is they were small. They only held nine. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on a tray. Well, let's take a look at this a little more closely to see exactly what do these penguins mean when they're talking about place value. Okay, boys and girls. Now, when we're looking at place value, that means the numbers that you're looking at have a value to them. It's more than just looking at a digit, okay? So remember, page we just read was the tray of fish can only hold nine. Well, there's significance to that because when I'm looking at place value and where we're starting with place value, there's a tens place and a ones place. Now we could have more places than just the tens and ones, but we're starting very simply right now. So remember the tray only held nine. That's because when you're starting with the least valued number, that is either like a single digit number or for dealing with a two digit number, it's your number to the right. It's the number in the ones place. And that number can only have, the highest value you can have is nine. So that's why that tray can only hold nine fish. If you decided to add another fish to that tray, that's why you'd say it couldn't fit because here's our 10th, our fish or our 10th one, because then things change up a bit. When you look at the number 10, it is now a two digit number. See one digit, two digits. Two digits cannot fit in an area that is meant for a single digit number. So what that means is that things are going to change up a bit. Not necessarily the value, but how the numbers look and then things are going to change. So watch, if I wanted to put an additional fish on that tray, that means things are going to change up. We are going to now look at something like this. This is a 10 stick. It has 10 individual ones in it. So I'll count them so you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that means if I wanted to place this here, that would change. That means all of these go away and now you have ten. One ten zero ones. So let's see further in our story, what more place value things are these penguins going to be doing? Hold tight. When more fish were caught, they were moved once again to a bright yellow box big enough to hold 10. So as we were just talking about, when that one additional fish was added, it changed things up a bit. They went from nine individual 
or 10 individual ones into a 10 stick. Or in this case here, they're talking about a box of 10 fish. 10 fish to a box. Now that was the rule. And they kept them on ice to stay nice and cool. So as you can see, they already have a few boxes of 10 fish. So if we wanted to count to see how many fish they would have right now, just from what this picture is showing us, we could count by 10. So you can count along with me. 10, 20, 30. So we seem to catch 30 fish so far today. By the end of the day, all the fish had been caught. Now it's time to find out how many fish that they've got. All right, so as you can see, they have boxes of 10, and then they have a tray that has four more fish. So let's skip count by tens, and then we're gonna switch and count by ones. Let's see how many fish they have. Are you ready? 10. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. So what we're going to do now, we're going to take a look at this in our other way that we're going to look with base 10 blocks, 10s and 1s. Okay, boys and girls. So we just read that page that they had six 10s and then those four additional fish on the tray, which would mean four ones. So here we go, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's our six boxes and our four little ones or four little extra fish on the tray. Now, would we still count this the same? Absolutely. So I'm gonna start with my tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64. And what I like to do is also show that in digits, show that as a number. So if at 64, six tens, four ones, 64. There we have it. All right, hold tight. Let's continue on with our story. Six boxes of fish and four on a tray were stacked by their van to be sent on their way. Six boxes make 60. Now don't forget the four, that 64 fish to be sold at their store. So we totally figured that out. 64 fish, six tens, four ones, 64. Tomorrow's a new day. These fish will be bought. We hope you come back and count new fish we've caught. So what we are going to do, since this is the end of our story, we are going to pretend that we are going to be these penguins and we are going to be catching some more fish. So hold tight. Okay, here we go. Day two. So now we have three tens or three boxes. And let's count our ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So therefore, these were the fish on the tray. So let's see. Let's count. Let's see what our number is. Are you ready? Here you go. You can count them right along with me. 10, 20, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38. So today they would have caught 38 fish. Three tens, eight ones. How am I gonna write this as a number? Three and an eight. 38. How about that? All right. Get ready for a new one. Okay, here we go. We have a new set here. So we have some tens and a one. So let's count our tens. One, two, three, four, 
five. So that means if these were the penguins, it'd be five boxes. And how many left on that tray? One, one, one fish. All right, let's count them up. Let's see what we got. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51. So let's see, how am I gonna write that as a number? We have 51, five, and a one. There it is, 51, 51 fish. All right, boys and girls, let's do one more example. All right, boys and girls, and we're back. Seems like the penguins had a really good fishing day today. Let's see how many tens we have or how many boxes of fish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And how many left on our tray? One, two, three, four. Okay, so that means we have eight tens and four ones. So let's go ahead and count to see what number we are going to make. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. So if I'm thinking about building 84, making it into digits, 84 would be an eight and a four, 84. Well, boys and girls, I certainly hope you enjoyed our story today, Penguin Place Value. As I always tell you to please try and practice at home. And until I see you again, have a great day and I'll talk to you all again soon. Bye everyone.